Hello everyone again, and welcome for episode 14 of Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. So uh, last time we got this bus, and uh, we blew up some bad guys. And uh, this time here, now we're heading to our, uh, I think that's the casino. But we'll follow these little green lines and see where they bring us anyways. Yep, and we're off to the casino. Talk to Chief Wiggums. Alright, he's, he's got himself a... Uh, Police car over there, so it's my bad. Uh, should we kick the cop? Now nah, we'll just ground pound on his head. Which does nothing. Now we'll kick the cop. All right. Excuse me, Chief Wiggum. Can you help? I've got to find my brother. Ah, uh, sorry, little girl. I'm busy collecting evidence on Jailbird. We're busting him on the three strikes law. How many strikes do you have so far? Ah, uh, no strikes. But that's only because I'm a very, very bad cop. Now, first of all, we're gonna go undercover. You will need a disguise. You mean like an eye patch? Hey, good one. <laughs> if we could afford a disguise like that, I wouldn't be getting paid in potato chip coupons. So what disguise do you have? Well, here's one of Ralph's old Halloween costumes. Fine, wait here and I'll get changed. All right, so now we have to get into the car. I'm, I'm, I think we, we're supposed to get into a costume and get into disguise, but we're... Dressed up as cool, Lisa, so I guess that, that counts. So now we just gotta get into the cop car. Follow Snake and find three strikes of evidence against them. Don't miss any items. Let's just do this thing. So where is Snake? Oh, there he is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. He dropped some pants. Strike one. Counterfeit designer G. Counterfeit designer jeans. So I guess we just gotta make sure he doesn't escape. Okay, uh, so does running vehicles off the road not count as strikes against them? Apparently not. Strike two. Running over an elderly person without a license. <laughs> okay, well I guess it does. But only because he didn't have a license. And because it was an elderly person. Oh, item dropped. Legally sanctioned violence. Ain't it sweet? Alright, now we have to drive to Burns' Manor. I guess that's the casino again. Shit. Oh, we just made it. That was close. Lots of time to spare. Strike three. Literate. All right. We got all we need on this low life. Now, about your brother. I've seen lots of mysterious government types over at the docks. Uh, maybe they sent him on a nice cruise. They got some great baggage deals these days. Five buffets per boat inclusive. Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. <laughs> You're just saying that. And, of course, the cop card is first. Alright, so uh, now we gotta go down to the docks and do some stuff down there. So let's call in our good care. I seem to be stranded here. Can you help us, sister, out? Let's see. Right quick, let's just take a quick peek at our level progress. We're five to seven story missions in. So we're, uh,. We're getting up there as far as completing this Lisa level. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go complete this next mission. And then before we complete it, uh, since we got a decent car, maybe we'll uh, try and complete some of the races. And uh, try and collect some of the coins, get some of our clothes, so there's less to do when we have to come back. But for now, let's see what the uh, sea captain here wants. Probably let my hit and run meter drop a little bit before we get into the next mission. So while I'm doing that, let's explore this little. Hey, look, a pelican. Can, can the pelican do something? No, the pelican does not do anything. So you'll you'll see our hit and run meter fills up faster and it goes down a lot slower. So we're gonna we're gonna have to start avoiding 
the pedestrians, I guess. We'll have to be good people. No, we already got the card and all that. Oh, apparently there was an invisible wall that wasn't there a couple seconds ago. Oh, well, this is good enough. We're going to go see the captain now. Chief Wiggum said there was some strange stuff going on around here. Have you noticed anything weird? You know, black sedans, guys with dark glasses. Yeah, maybe I've seen something and uh, maybe I haven't. Render me a favor and it might jar me memory. <laughs> What favor? I've got a shipment here of live mackerel. Can you navigate the fishies to the finest restaurants in the Squid Point? Those poor fish! I mean, sure I'll help. Save the sea captain's fish. Collect all the fish before time runs out. So, we gotta go correct his uh, mackerel, I guess that was. And speaking of mackerel, I, uh... I caught some mackerel the other day and I put them in the fridge with the intentions to cook and eat them and I forgot about them so thank you to this game for reminding me about the old mackerel in my fridge because that is like six hours away from stinking so right after this I know exactly what I'm going to be doing and that is throwing out those mackerels. So we got 40 or sorry we got 22 mackerel or three eyed fish I think he called them mackerel but these are three-eyed fish. Two collect uh, before time runs out. I think this kind of follow this this line here, if I'm not mistaken. Lisa's telling the fish to watch out for nets because they uh, they understand that. I'm glad we let her hit and run drop a little bit because we're back up to halfway, which is right at that scary point. We'll have to thump it down and try and uh, get them a little faster because we're uh, getting close on our time here. We still got a lot of fish to pick up. Ooh, thought we were heading on there. Why are his fish all over the road? I think I missed that part of the story. Okay, 25 seconds and we got seven fish left to catch. This is going to be close. Hopefully they get closer together because we are running out of time to collect fish. Ten seconds with three fish left. Four fish left. Oh fuck, and that'll do it. Four, three, two, we're not going to make it. What a crap. Well that sucked. Alright, so uh, this time here we'll have to not fuck up. Starting off, we'll save some time by not hitting this post and by collecting all the fish. They reset our hit and run meter too, which is good. Oh, we hit one pedestrian that's over a quarter. That's a lot of damage for one pedestrian. But at least the bright side is we know where they are this time. And we know they just follow a straight line, so we don't have to slow down. We just gotta, just gotta get them all. Oops. Oh, I just seen. Oh fuck. Fuck. That sucks. I think we're still ahead of our time from the last episode. But on a side note, I just seen the last card. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to hurry the hell up and not hit any more friggin' cars. I'm really trying to concentrate here, this is why I'm being kind of quiet. Yeah, we're we're ahead of our time from the last uh, the last one still. So that that error might not cost us because we ran out of time right here. As long as this one, awesome, we got it. So that'll be our uh, second last mission. So now we gotta drive to the captain's uh, chum and stuff again. But before we do that, and uh, 
to finish off this video, I'm gonna go try and collect that last card. The final one we need, 7 of 7, for this uh, mission level. And then we'll see where we are for time and what we can do next, but I think that'll pretty much be it for this, uh, this uh, video episode. So if I remember right, it was just as I came down this hill. There it is, right there. Uh, I think we have to get into the crusty area for this. We'll see what happens. Alright, and I think it's just over here. So let's see if we can hop over this. Might need a taller vehicle, perhaps. Maybe I can get on top of this. Definitely not. Time to hit the streets. One more, we're gonna give it one more shot trying to jump over it from here. No, that's 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 definitely wrong. Okay, there's probably some sort of passage. Like right here. This is probably a good place for a cam or two. Perfect. We'll beat up this box before we get the rest of those coins. I don't think the coins disappear that fast that we have to worry about collecting them right away. Alright, so that's a good little bit of coins. I don't think it's going to buy us anything because we need quite a few to get what we need. And this is not where we had to go. I could sure use a pony right now. Should be another spot somewhere that we can poke ourselves through. I wonder what's up here. Well, I guess it's nothing important. Or is it? You know what, maybe we need our car to get on top of that one and that'll bring us there. There's a lot of little side spots in this game that are, are not exactly on your main path that you have to explore to find all these things. It's a really well made game for keeping you uh, on your toes as far as exploring the level. Okay, well I thought for sure that there was stairs and stuff up there, but I guess that's just a lie. So this is the glass, which means the card is further this way. It's not in there because we've already been in there. It's got to be probably right in here, the most obvious of places. There's no gags around in this. All kinds of coins. Oh wow. Found a mother load of coins here. This will really help with our uh, final costume, which we'll definitely have enough money for. Maybe uh, the cars. I'm not sure if we checked those out yet, price wise. If we did, I don't remember what they were. Some of them were getting lost in the wall, though. If we would have, oh wait, we couldn't take our car in there because there was the barrier. Yeah, this is Krusty Studios, so I guess he really likes this cola. Alright, so now we go get that card, which I'm feeling is going to be up here. Oop. Alright. Now the hard part. I wish she'd stop doing that. The camera angles in this game are so hard to uh, get comfortable with. There we go. Let's see if we can spin here. Alright, perfect. Now is that... Okay, the card is down there, but do I just jump down? Well, let's find out. Yes, we do. Alright, more Buzz Cola, and this is our final card. Ah, sweet, sweet 
Lisa's machine. Level cards collected. Something unlocked. Now, I think um, if you remember a couple episodes back, we were in uh, Comic Book Guys, uh, the Androids Dungeon, and uh, there was a ticket there for an unreleased episode of Itchy and Scratchy or something along them lines. And uh, he said he would only trade that ticket for a complete set of collector cards. And I think if we get all the cards in all the levels, we uh, get a bonus unlock of that episode. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure because it's been so long since I've actually collected all the cards. And I was younger then. I don't even know if I realized that, that was even a thing. But uh, anyways, we got all the cards for this level. So that's one less thing we'll have to come back and get. And uh, we'll definitely be working on the rest of the cards in uh, the other levels as time goes. So we are going to take a quick peek at our level progress. So we're 6 of 7 story missions done. So we're almost done the main story of this uh, level. Bonus missions done. That was Principal Skinner's. got his crappy car. Street race is 1 of 3. Collector cards 7 of 7. 2 of 3 of the clothing. 2 of 5 of the vehicles. Uh, 16 for 20 of the wasp cams. 9 11 for 9 gags. So 73.4% complete of Lisa's mission. And uh, next time we'll complete the last story mission and we'll move on to the next level and keep this game rolling. So as always, I just want to say thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for watching our previous episodes. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, go back, check them out. And uh, stay tuned to our channel for further episodes in this and other series. And uh, have a good night. Have a good day. Happy gaming. We'll see you next time. Later.